another smudge pot night replacing transmission in this 56 Chevrolet the other night I was driving it pretty fast down the freeway and when I started to slow back down with it the 700 R4 started making noise it's kind of just an experiment to see if I could put a 700 in here without hooking any electronics up to it at all and people were saying I needed to make that converter lock up I could tell that tranny was getting hot that I needed to do more with it but it lasted a few thousand miles, but that's no way to do a 700 R4 overdrive. You really got to do something with it. But I've had in my backyard for about 10 years this long tail turbo 350. And a long tail turbo 350 is the same length as a 700 overdrive transmission. That came out of a 73 Chevy truck I parted out years ago. It was a good transmission. I drove the truck home. It's very beat up, but the tranny worked fine in it then. We'll see what it does now. Put a thing on Facebook about how I was replacing this transmission that my 700 had gone bad. And a friend of mine from the 7th grade uh, put a comment that he had a 700 that he pulled out of another 73 Chevy truck. That's not what it originally came in. But anyway, I went out to his place and got that he said it worked he just bought the truck for the 383 motor that somebody Chevrolet motor that somebody had bored and stroked he bought that truck for the motor and saved the tranny but never used it so I went and got that I won't put it in this car unless I do something to make it right Man, with that air conditioning hanging down under the dash, it took away my access holes without removing the AC to get the top bolts on the transmission. It was kind of a mess getting it out. I'm in no hurry on this thing. I hope to carry this car to the paint swap meet in a week and maybe sell it. But I definitely got to get a transmission in it. It still drove. It just made funny noises when it shift, shifted. I knew a bearing was bad or something. Anyway, I got my work cut out for me tonight. I'll get busy.